different stuff out there. Okay, if you really want to know something, and the whole reason behind this, if you really want to know something more about what's on this paper, research it. That's why I'm bringing this to your attention. And why you got every one of you have one of these things to take home. So that way you can say, hey, you know what? Uh, I wonder what's in this. And you can go on Google and you can say, I wonder what kind of fatty acids are in this, or good, good, good source of protein for this, or you know, what's a good way to design a mystery, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Um, any questions on that so far? And we have omega 9s, okay? Omega 9s are, they're non essential. Your body already produces omega 9s, but it's still good to get them from, uh, from other sources. And a good source of omega 9s is olive oil. Okay? All of these things have a positive effect on blood cholesterol. Okay. Alright, any questions on what are proteins, carbohydrates, and fats? Really that was that was the whole that was the whole reason behind this seminar, okay? Um, but let's go further and talk pre and post-workout nutrition, okay? Pretty basic. What you eat before exercise often depends upon your unique needs and preferences and what should be designed according to the intensity, length, and type of workout you plan to do. Hey coach, what should I eat before workout? Uh, you got me, okay, quite honestly. Something that makes you feel good throughout the workout, okay? And that really does differ from person to person, okay? Now, when you go into the science behind it and everything like that, it might be a better idea to eat a little bit of protein, a little bit of fats, or I'm sorry, not fats, but uh, uh, carbohydrates, and maybe something a little bit quicker release, like fruits, starches, before workout, because that's going to give you a sustainable energy, okay? And when you're, you know, digest, you're digesting those proteins throughout throughout your workout, you have that you have that stuff right there, you know, being able to build, build, build while you're breaking down, breaking down, breaking down. So right. Yeah, maybe a protein and a carbohydrate, but everybody's got a different opinion, and everybody also has has feels different after they eat. Now, some people come and say, like, dude, if I even cook get food before I come in and work out, I'm throwing up. Yeah, some people are like, I have to eat an extra before I go to the gym, or I can't focus because I'm starving and I feel fatigued. Okay? And I used to be the guy who was, just got finished with a bagel and cream cheese and was drinking a large protein shake as I walk out onto the gym floor to do a crossfit workout. Oh, yeah, imagine that. Some people say, What the hell are you doing, dude? You just ate a buffet and you're about to do like. Half a mile sprints, push ups, sit ups, and squats. You got a stomach of steel, but you know, I mean, it's just everybody different. And I feel awesome throughout the workout, okay? I didn't feel nauseous not once, okay? But that's a lot of food. Everybody really differs, everybody really differs, okay? Because a meal like that has a ton of carbohydrates, has a ton of fats, and has a ton of energy, okay? Yeah, I felt fine. I didn't feel low energy, I you know it's all good. Another thing is like I, you know, I used to uh, do all kinds of stuff in the morning. But if I get up at the butt crack of dawn, 5 a.m., and I try to go to the gym and I try to work out, I don't care what I eat. I'm throwing up. Okay, it's different. It really is. It differs all day, and it differs from person to person. Okay, uh, so you've got to kind of you know, play with that. But a good guideline is a little bit of carbohydrates, a little bit of protein, and go with that. All right, to make sure you have enough energy, you have to reduce. Yeah, reduce stomach discomfort. You should allow the meal to fully digest before you start it.